I guess I should shut up and listen. Yeah, I ain't got all day. Fear. You may not know this, but you and I have something in common. Well, duh. <laughs> and that is that you and I are probably the two biggest successful superstars here. Yeah, right. And when you put two superstars of that magnitude in a match Ooh, for something word, like the cool. world title, it's bound to be a heck of a match. Yeah, buddy. That showed last th uh, last Friday at Bloodbath. No, it didn't. On one side of the ring, you had the world heavyweight champion, Fear, the only man to hold the world the United States, and hardcore titles to unify them as the undisputed champion. Then on the other side of the ring, you had the Prince of Darkness, the challenger, the only man to hold, at that particular point, to hold the world title on four different occasions. But when there's two major superstars like that, there's only one spot. There's only room enough for one at the very, very top. No, there's not. I gotta work there. There's room. And when you and I went to war, it's obvious who came out the winner. Well, yeah. Since fear is not here tonight, it's obvious. That fear will forever rest in peace. Um, sweet, I guess. Yeah. Woo oh my god. <laughs> All right, that was on. Odd. Like, yeah. Oh, great, another speech. Pain? Just because you came out world champion, just because you beat me at Bloodbath and busted me open, doesn't mean that you are going to win against me when I issue my rematch clause at Day of Reckoning. That, and just to prove to you that I'm a better wrestler than you and deserve to hold this world ch championship, I'm going to challenge your right-hand man, Panic, tonight. Sweet. All right, I guess we, if the challenge is accepted, Panic will be facing fear tonight. 